kick us off, Ross, because there is a lot happening. Yeah, lots going on. Anyone obsessed with pop culture here? Hi. Me, 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 me. Okay. Me. Well, there is love in the air. Okay, new romance in bloom. People reports that Olivia Wilde has been seen holding hands with Harry Styles. Turns out she's only looking in one direction. <laughs> uh, they worked together on a movie she was directing called Don't Worry, Darling. And okay, for starters, uh, this is the romance I didn't know that I needed to happen. And I'm so into it. How do you feel? It's, um, you, it's undeniable. Mm -hmm. They're both such incredibly talented, beautiful, inside and out alluring figures. Um, so I think I really understand why this is captivating everybody right now. And it's an antidote to the realities that we're also going through. So, yeah. But also, know. I just think about the baby they have and like the jawline that baby would have. And then also think about this. I've done the math. So Olivia Wilde marries Harry Styles and she hyphenates her name, Olivia Wilde Styles. I'm just oh saying. Oh my God. You're welcome. That works. Yeah. Not only, but she's also like a decade older, and I'm really into that because I do think age is nothing but a number. Mm -hmm. And so that's, you know. Oh, by the way, I learned a new word. Um, it's smexy, which is messy and sexy. Oh, that's good. Fresh in from like the younger generation, smexy. Smexy. I've never been smexy once in my life, not even <laughs> one time. Hey, would you date a guy that was like 10 years younger than you? Um, uh, maybe. I, you know, th you can't say no about who the other person is. Who you connect to, to me, doesn't have to do with looks, status, age. It's something more deep than that. Yeah. You know, Andy Warhol would say you fall in love with your eyes closed. And I can only imagine what those nights were like at the factory. <laughs> um, but I, I concur. And for me... You know, even being on dating apps, I'm like, gosh, I just, I'm so much more interested in, like, the inside of someone's whole thing than the shell. Yeah. And that's really all you get. But, Ross, I'm back on the app. <gasps> you are? And this guess what? News. This is huge. I, I'm telling you, 2020 was just such a learning curve and prepared us all. And I said, you know what? New year. And I got on. And I'm getting hit up. Yeah. Like, a lot. I can't and I so, am you know so what this into proves? this. Like, can I be your wingman in 2021, oh, I please? need a serious, like, wingman. And I love to talk about this, and it makes it so much fun. And I'm just, you know, I think it's so much, again, about not the way, like, people look. It's how you feel. I think no one was hitting me up because I had, like, a geodome of, like, fear, anxiety, and, like, just blubber of yuck. Yeah, oh, that... Exactly! Yeah, that, who wants to... I, who I wants hope to... that's not your headline on your profile. No, but right now, I feel different, and therefore the energy is different, the yeah. output. So, you know, it's not about how it looks or functions. It's, it's energy and attitude and confidence and spirit and all of that, and I'm just saying, I can't wait, because <gasps> tables are turning. 2021 is the year, girl. It is the year. Well, Ross, I'm really excited to, uh, in addition, cap this news off with someone uh, very special to you. Yeah. This is a connected story to you, and I just found it profoundly important and interesting. Ross, take us away. Well, I had to bring this story to tell you and, and to tell everybody watching. A couple years ago, I had the honor of meeting some people who really blew me away. Um, I was very lucky growing up to have like an amazing mother. I know the power of what that does for somebody. And someone else I know has an amazing mother. I'd like you to meet Sarah and Parker Cunningham. They're using their nonprofit, Free Mom Hugs, to educate and advocate for the LGBTQ plus community. And guess what? They're here right now to tell us all about it. Hello, Sarah and Parker. Hi, guys. Oh, look how cute. Hi, how are you all? <laughs> Please tell us about the experience that inspired the Free Mom Hugs. Well, uh, Free Mom Hugs was inspired um, by this young man here. Um, our youngest son, Parker, uh, came out when he was 21 as a gay man. And he said, Mom, I met someone. And that's when I faced the reality that my son is gay. And um, I felt like I had to choose between my faith or Parker. Mm -hmm. And so when he came out of his closet, I went into mine. Mm -hmm. And it was a journey that took us from the church to the pride parade. And um, I went to a pride festival with a homemade button and that read free mom hugs. 
And with anyone who made eye contact with me, I would say, can I offer you a free mom hug or a high five? And the first hug that I got was from a beautiful young woman who said it'd been four years since she got a hug from her mom. From that experience, we started the nonprofit Free Mom Hugs. And now we have chapters in every state and we're doing what we can to empower the world to celebrate the LGBTQIA plus community through visibility, uh, education and conversation and still give hugs. Oh. Another detail that really moved me is that uh, it, speaking of the woman who hadn't had a hug from her own mom is that you've stood in for people's weddings, you have officiated, mm -hmm. you show up for those who don't have the fortune of a family member who can show up for them due to whatever the circumstances is that holds them back. And I have such mm -hmm. deep admiration for yeah. what you do. And it isn't about what's taken away, it's about what's put in its place. And you are that in human form. Thank you. Oh, I, Thank there can you. never be enough love in the world. Thank you so much for what you're doing for so many people. Thank you. And we would okay. like to donate $5,000 to Free Mom Hugs to help you keep your doing your amazing work. Oh, my God. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, Ross, for bringing your important organization to our attention. And if you go to our website at thedrewbarrymoreshow.com, all your information, a link, and every way you can support will be right there. And we'll be right back.